Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, music collectors out there. Welcome to my whole record collection. I've got over 200, and I know what you're saying. I look too young, and trust me, I own like a lot of really good classics and good stuff like that. I don't even think I own much albums bef like after the 2000s. But yeah, this is probably going to be a really long video, and I'm only going to do my records. I won't be doing like the vinyl records. I won't be doing the 45s. And before we get started, uh, here's Roy Orbison crying on mono, just to show you it's not, you know, dubstep or whatever teenagers are supposed to listen to. That's This is like my favorite album of all time, and I was just listening to it, so yeah, let's go on with the video. setup. In case any of you were wondering, uh, my record player only plays uh, 33s and 45s, so two speakers on each side with Joey Ramone and Jimi Hendrix on each side, and on right now is Abbey Road, The Beatles. Before I start, um, a lot of them is just all mixed in together, so a lot of it isn't in order of anything some of it is and this is only the first pile there is a second bit of it which has a lot of really good stuff in it this one's got a lot of good stuff in it but the other one has like you know like the best quality um so starting off here we've got the uh music from fistful of dollars few field dollars more just basically all of the uh a man with no name i'm pretty sure music uh Next up is uh, Bayo Country, and I'm going to butcher a couple of these names because I've gotten a lot of these free, which is insane to say. Bee Gees Children of the World. I really like the Bee Gees, they're pretty great. Um, I've never done a collection of vinyl, so I don't actually know how to display all this, and I've been having trouble with the camera. Stray Cats, Built for Speed. I'm trying to figure out what's straight or not. Uh, straight on. Uh, Nat King Cole Treasury. That's got. I I I'd be safe to say all his songs in it. Oh, uh, one record of all things must pass. George Harrison. I know there's three records to it, so that's a bit disappointing to me. Christopher Cross, self-titled, and Christopher Cross, another page. Apparently, he has a fetish with flamingos. Uh, but uh, Ride Like the Wind is a pretty great song. Max Webster, Diamonds, Diamonds. Breaking It Up, Louis Prima and Kelly Smith. Pretty great album as well. Elton John, Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Lou Reed, Berlin. The Young Approach, uh, Fair and Young. George Benson, Collaboration, Earl Clue. Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. Definitely a must own. Chuck Berry, Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll. Eagles, Greatest Hits, Volume 2, which has one of the best songs of all time on a Hotel California. I will fix all of these later. Dave Edmonds, uh, what's this one called? Okay, just Dave Edmonds, I guess. I can't figure out how to say the name of the album. Georgia S uh, Satellites. It's also, like, pretty late at night, so I'm probably butchering these names for that. Uh, it's a Brazil classic, Compilation 1. Uh, I don't remember what the song is, but there's just one song in here that's just really good. Thomas Twins, Into the Gap. Oh, I'm just checking the camera. Okay, it pans over everything. Alright, that's good. Fabulous Thunderbirds, hot number. 
Fabulous Thunderbirds tough enough. Hope the camera doesn't die out. Uh, Memories of Hank Williams. Uh, Lovesick Blues is pretty great. Also, the Yodeling Kid, Mason Ramsey's version is good. He actually got a full on EP now. I hope the glare also isn't bad. Stevie Ray Vaughan and the Double Trouble, Live Alive. Live Alive, yeah. Suicidal Tendencies, How Will I Laugh Tomorrow? Rolling Stones, Now in Mono. I actually prefer Mono over Stereo, but I hate, because, I don't know, I, I really enjoy Stereo, but I've been becoming more of a Mono fan. Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, Greatest Hits. Oh, but Stereo does sound pretty good with headphones. Daryl and uh, Hollow Notes, Rock and Soul, Part 1. That's got some amazing songs on it. Joe Jackson, I'm the Man. The Platters, High Fidelity. I think that's what it's called. Oh, just Encore of Golden Hits, The Platters. This is a pretty good album. Oh, this is a fantastic album. Back to Back, The Marquees. Love that one. Great listen. Fabulous Ink Spots. Uh, this is a remake of all their songs, but they re recorded them. Which I do really like Ink Spots, but I prefer the original versions. Jane the American's Greatest Hits, which has yet again another one of the greatest songs of all time, come a little bit closer. My opinions. Merry Christmas, Bring Crosby. Uh, probably the best Christmas album of all time. Select songs from the original broadcast of Cats. Metallica, Kill Em All. I've just been getting into Metallica, and it, they're pretty great. Metallica, Ride the Lightning. That one's my favorite album so far. Of Metallica's. Master of Puppets. That one's pretty good, too. Metallica, the 598 EP, which nowadays is not 598. Here and there, here and aid. Cheap Tricks and Exposition, please. I really do like Cheap Tricks, but that is not that good of an album. Led Zeppelin 2, probably the greatest thrift store find. Led Zeppelin Coda. I love the album artwork for this one. Led Zeppelin uh, Physical Graffiti. I just love how it, oh, I don't think I can show it, how it comes out, like that. Awesome. The Empire Strikes Back, original, I got a notification there, original soundtrack. That's a pretty, that, that's good. That's my second favorite soundtrack in the Star Wars franchise. I love the Last Jedi one. Huey Lewis and the News 4. Uh, Huey Lewis is great if you want to murder somebody. American Psycho reference. Here you listen to the news, sports. Kiss, Love Gun, which is not actually in here. Don't know why. ACDC, High Voltage. Uh, I'll just swing all these out. 74, Jailbreak. Uh, don't know what that one is, it's just the sleeve. Uh, blow up your video and fly on the wall. Who's Greatest Hits? Ah. Two without the actual covers. Sweet Desolation Boulevard, which is wrecked to crap, but it's one of my favorite albums. And, um, ah, oh, Billy Joel Skyscraper. I'm pretty sure it's Billy Joel. Hold on. Okay, I'm not figuring out who it is, but... Ah, uh, no, it's not Billy Joel. It's... Who did Skyscraper? Uh, Roth, right? I don't know. Tell me down below. Sorry for not knowing. Uh, Ace, time for another. I just have so many at this point, I can't keep track. Uh, the Ace album. Which I thought they only did one album, but I guess not. Uh, I had a chance to pick up a bunch of these, but I didn't feel like it. A Neil Diamond album, so I just got Stones right now. But this is a cool one, because it opens up from up here. Also, comment down below if you're a mono or stereo kind of guy. Frank Sinatra, Romantic Songs from Early Years. 
Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hits, which does not have my favorite one, which is My Way. Nat King Cole, The Touch of Your Lips, which I don't really need since I got all the songs in the treasury. Okay, I took two out. The Fabulous Thunderbirds and David Bur Burbeck's Greatest Hits. Atlantic Blues, Chicago. Rush Signals. Uh, Farewell to Kings. And All the World's a Stage. Oh, crap. Oh, what are you? Uh, Anthrax, thank you. Or, hold on, which, which one's this? Anthrax... State of Euthoria. I saw Anthrax live, I think, two years ago. Pretty good. Merle Haggard and the Strangers, I Love Dixie Blues. I have, when they have the slips, they're so tough to have in here. Uh, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, and Jimmy Page, Guitar Boogie. Stevie Ray Vaughan and the Double Trouble, Couldn't Stand for the Weather. Super Blues, Join Forces. Albert King and Otis Rush door to door. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, the Jimi Hendrix Experience smash hits. I don't know why, but I've so far I've never gotten in to Jimi Hendrix. I have two records by him. The other ones in the other other area for it. Frank Sinatra, that old feeling. Frank Sinatra cycles. My first Sinatra album that I bought. And the people, when I was buying it, the people were like, oh my goodness, how old are you? Why are you into Sinatra? Sting, nothing like the sun? I don't know, I'm a weird, weird teenager. Sting, the dreams of the turtle, I'm pretty sure it was, right? Yeah, Stream of the turtles. Yeah, stop racially profiling me as a teenager. I know, I listen to your music. Bruce Hornsby in the range, scenes from the south side. The Art of Noise with Max Headphones 12, Paranormia. Chicago! Everybody's got a Chicago album. Chicago and an ABBA album. Slim Whitman, all the best. The best album to listen to if you want to kill a couple of Martians. Mars Attacks. Atlantic Rhythm and Blues, 1947 to 1974. The best of chess blues. Blues is great if you just want to sit down and listen to some music. Especially if you're doing like homework or doing anything like that. Billy Joel, Glass Houses. I've been really getting into Billy Joel lately. Billy Joel, The Nylon Curtain. And Billy Joel, An Innocent Man. I'd say that Piano Man has got to be one of the best songs of all time. Men at Work, Business as Usual, which has, what is it? Uh, where is it? Huh? I'm so confused now. I'm trying to find this one song. What? Down on, oh, I, I'm sorry for pausing so much there. Down Under. That, that one's really good. Tom Jones, help yourself. Tom Jones, really getting into him. Waiting for a Miracle, Bruce Cockburn. Fifty-four forty. show me. The Box, close together. Yeah, close together. Miles High. I just, this looked so weird, so I picked it up. Did not really care for it, but, you know, it's worth the artwork. Jack Green, uh, Humanesque. Humanesco, I don't know how to pronounce that. Level 42, Running in the Family. Pretty, pretty good album. Fleetwood Mac and Fleetwood Mac Rumors. The Chain is one of my favorite songs. And if... They don't love me now. Megadeth, so far so good, so what? Never 
Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz. I was really surprised with that album. I thought I wouldn't like it, and I liked it. The Police, Regette de Blanche. I got a lot. I got a couple other Police albums coming up in the other area. The other box is mainly more the ones I listen to the most, recently listened to, or my favorite albums. The Footloose soundtrack. An Evening with John Denver. This was my first ever vinyl. Lionel Richie. He always has, like, the greatest covers. I don't know why, but... I'd recommend everybody at least has one Lionel Richie album in their collection. Uh, Brian Adams, Reckless. Bob Marley and the Whalers, The Collection. This will probably end up being my longest video, and I hope I can even publish it. Well, if you're watching it, I can publish it, obviously. Uh, Rastin, Rastaman Vibration, Exodus, and Bob Marley Live. My dad gave me those, so I, I haven't really listened to most of them. I, I do like um, Get Up Stand Up, so. Uh, Brian Cedar, Live Nude Girls. Elton John, Jump Up. This is pretty big pop crap. I like other Elton John albums. Sloan, Four Nights at Palace Royale. Sloan is one of my favorite bands. But I am not legal age, and they keep performing in bars in my city. So I am mad. Hot Tracks. It's a KTEL album. I used to advertise the hell out of those when my grandpa was telling me. A Hit Express. Oh, there's one in here. Uh, it's like a mushroom album. I don't actually know what it is. It's completely broken. 10,000 Maniacs in my tribe. Money Python's Contractually Obligated Album. Money Python is hilarious. Uh, the Instant Record Collection. I highly would recommend watching one of their movies. Or especially the Flying Circus show is great. Uh, Beethoven, scratch that. Another Money Python record. I've been meaning to get a Beethoven album. I don't know what that one is. I don't count them now. Uh, Jane Siberian, The Walking. The Grease soundtrack. Probably the only reason my mom lets me collect vinyls is because I have that one. Uh, Rerun Rock presents superstars sing television themes. We are Yankovic, Dare to be Stupid. This was my dad's when he, uh, he gave me some of his collection, but most of it's all, I'd say like a good 80% of this is stuff that I got on my own, but a bunch of it is also records my dad gave me from when he was younger. Uh, what are you? The California Raisins, that's another one he gave me. But there, I, I liked Weird Al Yankovic when I was younger, but I can never get into him anymore. Uh, Burt's Blockbusters. Sleepy Time Big Bird. Oh, I'm missing the first one. Uh, Joe's Garage, Acts 2 and 3. I really want to get Act 1 because that's a pretty funny record. Nathaniel and the Grublet, which this is also a book, which opens up. Right there, like a comic book. It's pretty cool. Let's make a memory. Star Tracks, which is cool. It's got like the police on it, Eddie Grant. Another very best of Slim Whitman. Keep those in handy for the Martians. Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell. The first time I actually found this album, I went to buy it and it had an ABBA record in it, so that was disappointing. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is the normal one. I bought. I recently bought my girlfriend one, which opens up into the original storybook, but I kept the normal one. The Magic of Boney. Bonnie. Boney. Uh, the cool thing about this one, though, is... It's another one of those covers like that. Boney M. My grandpa got me that when he said I, I need one of those in my collection. Kansas. I don't know what it's called. Kansas Point of No Return. Love the album artwork. Back in there. The Beverly Bros Pass the Chicken and Listen. My back hurts from this. 
So that's already indicating that I'm getting old. Jim Reeves, Young and Country. Chili Whack, Lights from the Valley. Kenny Rogers and the Gambler. I've never listened to Kenny Rogers, and I always see him at thrift stores, so I just pick that one up just to listen to him and see if I end up liking him. Dean Martin, Remember Me, I'm the One Who Loves You. Uh, this diamond ring, Gary Lewis and the Playboys. The nylons, Happy Together. Almost on the first shelf, everybody. The second one is way shorter, by the way. Gordon Lightfoot and Gord's... Uh, sorry, Gord's Gold and Gordon Lightfoot Sunday Concert. Alright, last one in this collection here, and it's Chicago 16. Alright, moving on to the next one. The next one isn't as big, so we'll get through it quickly. Alright, so here we go. I moved the box over here, and goddamn, vinyls are like the heaviest thing in the world. Okay, so Flaming Lips, Concert for Peace. It's them on the International Space Station. I absolutely love this cover. Beatles, Rubber Soul, my favorite album by them. Abbey Road. My Chemical Romance, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, I'm trying to grab this. Queen, Greatest Hits. Paul McCartney and the Wings, Red Rose Speedway. Paul McCartney's gotta be like my favorite artist. Paul McCartney and the Wings, Back to the Egg. Paul McCartney, New. Air Supply, Greatest Hits. Uh, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Together, Little Richard. Another fantastic album, artwork. And album, I guess. 21 Pilots, Vessel. Probably the newest record I own. Cindy Lauper, She's So Unusual. Michael Jackson, Thriller. Awesome album. Paul McCartney and the Wings, Venus and Mars. And Paul McCartney and the Wings, Band on the Run. Band on the Run's gotta be their best best song, besides Old Sciencer. Tunes, self-titled. One of my favorite albums of all time, Queen, A Night at the Opera. Fantastic. Elvis Costello, this year's new model, becoming one of my favorite albums. Sloan, The Double Cross. I highly recommend listening to this album, it's great. Each song syncs up into the next one and it just sounds great. Please, Zenyatta Mondata. Every song on this record is, like, unskippable. Lionel, Lionel Richie, Can't Slow Down, has one of the greatest songs of all time on it. Hello. Michael Bolton, Soul Provider. Just, just do yourself a favor. Just listen to that one. Tom Jones, Greatest Hits. This is probably the best vinyl I own. Like, I can't believe how amazing it is. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prism. I really wish I had more Johnny Cash albums. Queen, The Game, The Glare on that's probably bad. Simon and Garfunkel, Greatest Hits, awesome. Fantasia, a fantastic record to own, sounds amazing. My favorite Paul McCartney album, uh, Tug of War, or New, I don't know. I, I can't pick with him. Uh, Wings Over America, this has like four records in it, so it's really heavy. This is even heavier, it's got like 20. Ah, hear them again. It's got 122 songs, 89 singers. Ow. That hurt me. Buddy Holly, a rock and roll collection. Rock and Roll Fever, Volume 2. Elton John, Greatest Hits. Beach Boys, 20 Greatest Hits, in mono. Getting to be a big fan of the Beach Boys. Get the Knack. Knack. Back in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. Billy Joel, 52nd Street. Duran Duran, Rio. Uh, Julian Lennon, Valet. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. The Manhattan... Oh, why am I pronouncing it bad? The Manhattan Transfer. I can't read sign language. Wait, I'm an idiot for saying that's not sign language. It's... I am too tired for this. Uh, Taco, After Eight. Uh, Burton Cummings, Dream of Children. ABBA, the album. Billy Joel, Piano Man, best Billy Joel album. Roy Orbison Collection, original 20 hits. Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. 
And to finish up the box, hanging on Wayne Jennings. I'll have to go over these a separate time on my 45s. I have a bunch and I just don't want this video to drag on and they're, they're records, but I'm mainly doing just the normal records, but to give you a taste of it, uh, here's the Beatles Hard Days and Night, and on the B side is I Should Have Known Better. Uh, if you want to see the 45 collection, just comment down below. I got about 200 of them as well. Okay, so if you made it to the end, holy shit do you love watching people talk about what records they own. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you ended up staying to the end, why not leave a like or tell me what your favorite albums are. And, yeah. If you want to see me do the 45s, uh, comment down below. There's a bunch of good ones in there, but there's also a bunch of really bad stuff in there. Like, like I'm, I'm going to take a bunch of them and put them on a wall to make a record wall soon. Like, the really crappy ones. Because I won an auction for, it was like, 8 bucks, 40, 45s, so... I mean, lots of crap in there, but then there's a couple good ones. So, yeah. See ya. Or whatever I should say to send off. So now let's go to the intro, which has Pink Floyd playing. <laughs>